Method CRM Tutorial for Beginners Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use Method CRM. Method CRM is the complete business process automation solution for businesses that use QuickBooks and Xero. In this video, you'll learn how to create an account, how to connect your account with QuickBooks and Xero, how to add contacts, and how to create an email campaign in Method CRM. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Method CRM, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Try for Free button. By clicking this button, you will be directed to the registration page. On the registration page, you will be presented with various options to sign up for a new Method CRM account. These options include signing up with your Intuit account, Xero account, Google account, Microsoft account, or using your email address for a conventional signup. Choose the option that aligns with your preferences. Once you have selected the appropriate signup method and provided the necessary information, you can proceed to create your new method CRM account. Now, let's see how to connect your account with Xero or QuickBooks. After signing up for Method CRM, you will be directed to your account dashboard. However, before accessing the dashboard, it is essential to connect your method account with an accounting software. Two options are available for this purpose, QuickBooks and Xero. For this tutorial, we will select Xero since we already have an existing Xero account. To proceed, click on the radio button next to Xero and then click on the Next Step button. On the next screen, you will need to specify your industry. In our case, we will choose advertising, marketing, or PR. Additionally, select your business type. In the business type, we will choose the both option. In the primary role, we will select owner. Once you have made these selections, click on the next step button to continue. The subsequent step involves deciding what functionalities you want to utilize in your method account, such as contact management, email campaigns, time tracking, etc. For this tutorial, we will opt for Email Campaigns and then click on Next Step. Following this, set up your time zone to ensure accurate timing within the platform and then click on Next Step once again. Now comes the crucial step of connecting your method account with Xero. To do this, click on Connect to Xero. You will be redirected to the Xero login page where you should log in using your Xero account credentials. Once logged in, a window will appear requesting permission for Method CRM to access your Xero account. Simply click on the Allow Access button to grant the necessary permission. The connection process may take a moment, and once it's successfully established, a message will be displayed on the screen. Next, you have the option to invite your teammates to collaborate on the method platform. To invite them, enter their names and emails and choose their respective roles. You can invite multiple teammates by repeating the process. Once you have filled in all the required fields, click on the Done button. In case you don't wish to invite teammates immediately, you can click on the Done button without filling in any fields and you will still gain access to your method account. Once you access your account dashboard, you will notice that the dashboard is well organized and user friendly. The dashboard features a left menu that contains essential main tabs, including dashboard, contacts, activities, opportunities, web to lead, invoices, estimates, payments, email campaigns, items, send email, sales orders, and app marketplace. Each of these tabs serves a specific function, allowing for easy navigation and access to the various features and functionalities offered by the platform. Whether managing contacts, tracking activities, handling invoices, or launching email campaigns, the dashboard provides a seamless and efficient experience for users. Next, let's see how to add contacts in Method CRM. Adding contacts in Method CRM is an important step as it enables you to utilize various features such as creating new email campaigns. To begin, navigate to the left menu and select the Contacts tab. Once you click on it, you will be directed to the Contacts page where you can view the contacts you have already created. If you haven't added any contacts yet, click on the Plus New Contact option located at the top right corner of the page. Upon clicking the New Contact option, you will be redirected to the page where you can input information about the new contact. First, you need to choose the type of contact you want to create. You have the option to create a customer vendor contact, a lead contact, or simply a new contact. For this tutorial, let's click on Add a new contact to proceed. Now you can fill in the necessary details for the new contact. Input the first name, last name, email address, 
phone number, and website domain. Additionally, you can include relevant tags to categorize the contact appropriately. Once you have entered the information, click on the Save button to save the contact's details within Method CRM. Following these simple steps, you successfully add contacts to your Method CRM account. Next, let's see how to create an email campaign with Method CRM. Creating an email campaign in Method CRM is an easy process that can be accomplished in a few simple steps. There are two methods to create an email campaign in Method CRM. First, from the dashboard, navigate to the top right corner and click on the plus button. A drop down menu will appear with various options. Select Show More to reveal additional options, then click on Email Campaign. This action will take you to the Email Campaign page where you can begin crafting a new email campaign. Alternatively, you can create an email campaign by going to the left menu and clicking on Email Campaign tab. This will direct you to the Email Campaign page where you will find four steps involved in creating an email campaign, Setup, Design, Recipients, and Review and Send. In the first step, Setup, you will be required to enter essential details for your campaign. These include an internal campaign name to aid an organization and easy locating within your account. Next, input the subject line, a crucial element that clearly describes the content of your email. The subject line will be visible in your recipient's inboxes and will be the first content they see. Additionally, you need to specify the from email address, which will be the sender's email address for the campaign. Lastly, enter the from name, a recognizable name that will help campaign recipients identify you in their inbox. Once all the required fields are correctly filled, click on the Save and Next button to proceed to the second step of the email campaign creation process. Moving on to the second step, known as Design, you will have two options for creating your email. You can either design it from scratch or use an existing template. If you choose to design from scratch, click on the drop-down menu under the Select from Existing Template option and select Blank. This will allow you to start with a clean slate for your email design. Alternatively, you can use a pre-built template and customize it according to your preferences. For this tutorial, we will opt for the blank option. Once you have selected your preferred option, enter the email body content and utilize the formatting options available in the toolbar within the email body section to customize the appearance of your email. Additionally, you need to write an opt-out message in the designated opt-out message field. Once you have finished the email design and provided the opt-out message, click on the Save and Next button to proceed further with the email campaign creation process. In the third step, which is Recipient, you have the opportunity to choose the specific contacts to whom you want to send the email. You can select the desired contacts from your Method CRM account, and once you've made your selections, click on the Add Selected button to add them as recipients for the campaign. Moving on to the final step, known as Review and Send, it's essential to carefully review your email campaign before sending it out. Take a moment to ensure that all the content, formatting, and attachments are correct and in line with your intended message. If needed, you can also attach files to the email campaign. Once you are satisfied with the email campaign's content and settings, click on the Send Campaign button to send your email to the chosen recipients. After successfully sending the email campaign, you will be redirected to the page for that specific campaign you just created. Here you can access important details and analytics related to the campaign's performance. You can view information such as the number of recipients, how many emails were delivered, how many were opened, the number of clicks received, any emails that bounced, and the number of recipients who unsubscribed. This data provides valuable insights into the effectiveness of your email campaign and allows you to gauge its impact and engagement with your audience. By monitoring these metrics, you can refine your email marketing strategies and improve future campaigns for even greater success. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Method CRM. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.